All right. So um, today I'm going to talk about a glimpse of what your life can become. So um, how did I become a coach? So these, you'll see on the screen here that there is um, three different strings of uh, pictures. These are my transformation pictures from when I first started. So um, at the bottom is actually the first week that I became a coach. Um, so a lot of people have the misconception that they have to be in perfect shape or have a transformation or a crazy story to become a successful coach, but that's not the case at all. Um, often people want to do it with someone that's doing it too, right? So they want to um, be able to connect with someone, see that it's real, see that it's working. So um, I actually built a really strong foundation as a coach at the beginning because I was doing it alongside everyone in my life. So at the beginning, these were my photos, um, and I started off with Focus T25. Um, 21 Day Fix just came out shortly after this, so I didn't start with that one. Um, so I did. It's a oops, 60 day program. Um, so I actually was watching my friend um, who was doing. Um, she was doing P90X3 at the time, and she was posting about what she was up to and that she'd become a coach. So I would reached out to her to find out a little bit more and wanted to know about the program and about the Shakeology. So I actually joined her challenge group and got T25 and Shakeology, and within 10 days, I was a coach. So um, why did I become a coach? I became a coach mostly because at the beginning, I really wanted to be accountable. I saw that it was working. I saw the changes in my body, the way I was feeling, and I saw just how it was going to impact my life. So I decided, you know what, I want to stay accountable. If I totally commit to this, um, it's going to make me be accountable because other people are going to be joining me. So I went into it with the intention of becoming a business builder. Um, and we're going to talk about that a little bit later. So when I first started, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't have any fancy tricks up my sleeve or anything that I was just like you. So I was just someone that was doing my program. I was learning the meal plans. I didn't know anything about the other programs, nothing like that. Um, in my case, um, I actually decided, you know what, I'm not going to um, – try to figure all that out. I'm just going to be really honest and true with my, my journey. So some people think that they want to figure everything out all about the programs before they start. Um, and that's totally okay. Um, for me, what I did is I just jumped in 10 days into my challenge group. I started my own challenge group and did my own thing. Um, I created my own posts. I created my own style. Um, at the beginning it was just me. So I, did one post a day so there wasn't Stacy and I and there wasn't all that information going on and honestly maybe one person responded to any of my posts the first day um, in my first challenge group so it wasn't as interactive as it is now that was a learning process for me so to get started what I did was I took um, the posts that I had seen my coaches make in their challenge groups and I started modifying them and slowly I changed into how I think that it helps people to stay motivated. So every coach does it differently. There's no perfect script or nothing that um, you have to follow or and there's no rules. You get to design it yourself. So I became a coach by just jumping straight in and just doing the sink or swim um, kind of style. So I did what felt right for me and I was very true and honest the whole entire time, right from the beginning. Um, so I'll go to the next slide here. So how has it changed my life? So when I first started, I wanted to be accountable. I wanted the discount. Um, I didn't really know exactly where it was going to take me. I saw uh, Morgan Rieger, who is my coach's coach. She was planning on going to something called Beachbody Summit right after I had joined. And she was sharing what was going on with that. So Beachbody has this big meeting once a year um, in a different city in, um, North, or in the U.S. And a bunch of coaches go and so she was talking about it and sharing all the cool events they'd be going to and the fact that they'd be working out live with the trainers and all those cool things and I started watching and I started thinking wow this is really neat um, where I work now there's not a whole lot of opportunity to talk to someone that's higher up or someone that has created a really cool program that I'm now working the front line for I never had that opportunity it was such a disconnect so when I saw that in Beachbody, you get to actually sit down and have supper with the CEO. You can you, After a month of coaching, if you sell three challenge packs, you get to have a phone conversation with the CEO. 
and the fact that you get to go and work out with these trainers that you're doing their DVDs, it's incredible. I've never had that in a job before, so I thought that was really cool. So I started following Morgan, and I started doing what Morgan did. So I started posting and sharing my experience and just being really true on my Facebook. And prior to coaching, I had shut off my Facebook for six months. I deleted my account. I wasn't posting anything. I maybe posted twice a year. I was really closed off and really shy. Um, and I still am. It's something I work on every day. But I realized that my life changed because Sarah took – the chance to just share her journey so her being vulnerable helped me and I started sharing my true journey and the day I started sharing um, my history with depression was the day things completely changed for me I had so many people reach out to me and so many people connected with me about my struggles I had with my body image the struggles I had with um, just like knowing who I am and feeling good in my skin so when I started sharing that part of it and the reasons why I really wanted to get fit and healthy, that's when people started really reaching out to me. And then that's when things kind of took off. So I realized that everybody has a different story and different experiences and they can play on that and they can um, just be really honest and share that journey. So if you have a kid or you have, um, you've struggled with weight your whole life or you just recently gained weight and that's really hard for you to just kind of work through those feelings and emotions and um, how you're going to get back on track. Those are all things that people can relate to and that's your story and your journey. So everyone can have success. Everyone is unique. Everyone's going to attract different people and that's what's really cool. So you'll see on the screen here, I have two pictures. So month 12 for me, I had earned $10,000 as a beach body coach. Um, so that everyone's number is different. There's coaches that have earned 40,000 by 12 months. There's coaches that earn $200 by 12 months. It all depends on what kind of coach you are, what your goals are and what you're doing. So every day, are you being consistent? Are you posting? Are you following the coach training that's available? Are you talking to your coach and helping, um, helping to run things? Are you running your own challenges? All those things will determine how many people follow you, how many people join your team, all those things. So everybody's number is going to look differently. So for me, I was working about an hour, hour and a half a day for those 12 months on coaching and I earned $10,000. So in that hour and a half, I was working hard. I was talking to people. I was sharing things. I was posting things. Um, I just was really, really working my butt off because it's something that really made me feel happy. Something that made me feel better about myself um, in my own skin and my own health. And I just, every day I woke up a little bit happier, a little bit more energetic. And I just started to see the freedom it was creating for me. So um, that was my experience. So over here in the second picture is another coach. Um, it's her journey. So when she first started in 2011, in April, she made $372. So that helped her with her groceries and credit card debt. Um, and by 2015 in April, she made $72,000 in a month. Now you're probably wondering, how did that happen? Don't worry. That all gets explained. So coaches make money through commission. So generally, most coaches sell three challenge packs a month, um, and some sell more. But everyone's goal is three a month. Um, now, you don't make $72,000 off of just your challenge pack. So you can sell. Um, there's equipment. There's supplements. There's detoxes. There's clothing. There's a bunch of stuff. So you make commission off of that as well. But again, you're not going to make $72,000 off of that. What you do do, though, is as you have people following you and they have a great experience and they also either want to get a discount or they want to sell challenge packs or things to their friends and family or maybe they don't want to have to go to work anymore, they want to work from home, they're going to start joining your team. So that's the reason you'd be on this call, finding out about that. So we all create teams, and our teams get bigger and bigger. So my team right now has 65 people on it. The team I'm on, which you would also then be a part of, would be Morgan Rieger's team, and she has approximately 500 people on her team. And then Morgan is on Lindsay Matway's team, which makes us also on Lindsay Matway's team, and she has over 40,000 coaches on her team. So your teams grow and grow and grow. Um, and the uh, company, what they do is 
they recognize hard work and they recognize people growing a business. So they start rewarding you with team bonuses. So um, if for me, say last month, I made approximately $300 in team bonus. So my team, they were selling, they were um, selling challenge packs, they were selling whatever people wanted and um, their hard work gets turned into points and as a team we collectively had so many points I got a team bonus they got team bonuses for their hard work um, and that's how we generate money now as you rank advance as a coach that's something that's going to seem super foreign right now and that's okay um, you also get um, quarterly bonuses so coaches that are high up there with um, a lot a large team and they're just digging in and helping others find challenge packs, they start to get recognition. So um, there's something called a two-star diamond coach, um, five-star, 10-star, and 15-star. Those are all milestone co coaching points. So those people, um, they have a certain amount of coaches. Uh, if, you have, if you're a two-star diamond coach, you have approximately, um, let me think here, 16 of your own coaches, and then um, some of those coaches have coaches as well. Um, those people, their name goes into a pot. Now the company takes a certain percentage of their earnings and they put it into a pot. Now, however many people's names are in that pot, that money essentially gets divided up and every four months or every three months, sorry, they get a quarterly bonus. So if you're a two-star diamond coach, you might get a quarterly bonus of say $2,000. Um, you might get a quarterly bonus of $5,000. It depends. Um, as you get higher and you hit that ten, 5, 10, and 15 star, your name now goes in each of those pots. When you get to be a 15 star diamond coach, you can get a quarterly bonus of $50,000. So it seems crazy, um, but it's not. It's just consistency and hard work. A lot of these coaches right here that I'm talking about started off as discount coaches. All they wanted was their Shakeology cheaper, and that's all they were worried about. And then slowly they had friends and family that wanted it too, and slowly they built it up. Um, some people right from the day one are looking to build a business, so some of this stuff happens way sooner for them. It all depends on your path. So for me, it's changed my life in a lot of ways. I'm healthier. I'm more fit than I've ever been. Um, I actually have the confidence to be able to go out and like run around with people when people want to go and they're like, oh, let's go for a jog around Wascana Lake. I used to make every excuse in the world not to go because I feared running and I feared being active in front of people. And now I don't have those things holding me back. I feel more confident in my ability. Um, it's changed my life in the aspect of I actually, for once, can see myself being successful and seeing myself um, being rewarded for my hard work. Often in jobs, you do your hard work, you go above and beyond because you want something to be successful, but rarely do you ever get a bonus for it. Rarely do you ever get recognition for it, and you have nowhere to go with it. Um, lots of jobs you can't get to management because you need a certain degree or you can't get to a certain position in the company because you need to go and do certain schooling. With Beachbody, there's none of that. Your job is just to motivate and encourage and support people. That's it. You don't need any certain degree. You don't need to be a nutritionist. You're just helping them. You're finding information. You're sharing it with them. Um, and that's the really cool part. The coaches all work together as well. So there's massive coach teams. So say if something comes up and a challenger asks you a question, you can post in there and ask the question because chances are you have a nurse on your team. Chances are you do have a nutritionist on your team. Chances are you might have a doctor on your team. Heck, our team has a massage therapist, a personal trainer, um, several teachers, all kinds of people. Um, we have people that are moms and they don't want to go back to work they want to stay home and raise their kids so they're coaches um, and they're earning their income that way because chances are they're going to make more money right away as a coach um, than they are going to have coming in if they are sending their kid to daycare plus going to work um, since daycare is so expensive so lots of people are really taking into coaching and other jobs that are at home businesses because it allows people to be at home so it is a huge opportunity and for me when I think about my life I want to be able to 
let Tyson not have to work a job that's hurting his body. He's a mechanic and it's just getting to be too much for him. And I want to be able to bring him home so he can do what he really wants. So he can fully commit to farming. And without this, I would never be able to do that as just a t as a teacher. I just wouldn't be able to. So this is really opening up our opportunities as a couple and our opportunities as a family because as we look into having kids, we want to be able to have freedom as well just to be able to, for me to stay home and raise them and to be more active in their life. Um, teaching just takes up so much time in the evenings with, planning and coaching and all the other obligations that teachers have and that's something that makes it so I would have to be pretty absent my parents are both teachers and um yeah they were always gone with meetings and coaching so I don't want that I want to be able to be at home so for me it's changing my life and my future I'm allowed to create my life now so there's three kinds of coaches um you all sign up the same way but you can decide what path you're on or you can become a mixture. So like I said before, often people sign up to be a discount coach. So this is someone that might want to have their Shakeology cheaper. They might want to be able to have 25% discount on buying all their new programs. Um, they might just be looking to get things cheaper. Uh, with the company, um, right now we're a Canadian company, Beachbody changed in August to become a coaching company in Canada. And with that, there's the balance of the prices. So with our dollar changing, they're actually increasing prices on things come July 5th. So right now this month is the cheapest things will be for a very long time probably. Um, so people that love their Shakeology and want it month to month, they are going to want to sign up as a coach so that way they can have it cheaper. And people sign up as a discount coach before for the same reason. But now, more than ever, this is a good reason because Shakeology is going to go up about $12. So having the coaching discount will really help to bring that down. Um, so as a coach, we get our Shakeology, or we will be getting our Shakeology in July for $116 a month, whereas someone that's not a coach is going to be $156 plus taxes and shipping. So being coming a coach and getting that discount is a really huge thing if someone wants to continue with their Shakeology. Um, you never have to stay just a discount coach. If you want to sell one challenge pack ever because your friend wants it, you might as well sell it and get the commission and someone else selling it and get them um, into a challenge group with um, with myself. Um, so then you can become a hobby coach or a business coach. Now these two things kind of end up overlapping. So when I first started and still right now, I would consider myself somewhat of a hobby coach, but transforming into a business builder because I still have a full-time job. So hobby for me is I'm doing it as an extra. So I have a full-time job, but I love the products. I love sharing with others and I love to earn that extra income to help us have rental or do our rentals and travel and pay for our extra bills that we have. So for me, I'm in between. When I first started, I would have been a hobby coach. Now I'm going to be a business builder here right away. So this is someone that's going to fully focus on business building, stay at home um, and work their business or only work their job outside of the home um, part time. So this is what, where your main focus is. So this is building your own life um, by your own design. So a business builder is someone that gets to create their own business and just design everything themselves. So when you join as a coach, you become a CEO of your own business. You own it. You design it. So that's the cool part. If you're looking to build a business, this is a great way of doing it because you get to stay at home. And like I said, you can be a mixture. You might have started as a discount and you could move up to a business builder right away. It all depends. So those are the three paths. And those, this picture is also posted on my Facebook and my like page as well. Um, so how and when is it a good time to become a coach? So every single month I host a training two-week training group. So new coaches, that's a great time to join because they can join in. They can find out all those basic things they need to know about how to sell, how to um, get a hold of 
coach relations to find out information about your Shakeology or orders or anything like that. We teach all of that stuff in the two weeks. Um, so it's a group, so you get to check in during the day at your own leisure. So that's the really great part about this is everything's at your own pace, depending on what your lifestyle is. Um, so that's a great time to join in. That's every single month we have that. Um, and then we have different levels of coach training as well. So if you're a business builder and you're looking to advance and build a team, we have coach training for that. If you're a business builder and you already have a small team building and you want a bit bigger team and you really want to dive in and make it your full-time job, we have coach training for that too. So we have everything there to support you. Now we don't do the work for you, but we do help you. So I always say it's like a partnership. So if you run or if you walk, I walk. If you run, I'll run. If you sprint, I'll sprint too. So that just means that if you are posting every day, I will try and comment on your stuff every day. If you're being engaged in um, training, I will start engage in your process. So if you're ha you have questions about how to have conversations with people, if you have questions about making a good post, I'll help you with that. I'll proofread your stuff. I'll help you create pictures if you have questions. Um, I'll give you ideas. But essentially, I'm here to be your support network. I'm here to talk to you. I'm here to be the person that you can lean on and ask questions to. Um, so to become a coach, if you already got a challenge pack, which you already have, Janelle. Um, you can sign up for free. That's the best part is there is no fee for you to join. Um, to stay an active coach, you either have to buy Shakeology every month or you can buy something equivalent to Shakeology every month. Um, and we can go over that if you have questions, if you're signing up as a coach. Um, and after that, there is no quotas that you have to meet for, sa for sales. There's no quotas for anything that you need to do. You just need to buy your Shakeology or something equivalent to and pay a coach fee of $17.95 come July 5th. So um, with the coach fee in your Shakeology is still about $20 cheaper than a customer is getting their Shakeology. Um, after that, what you do, what you create is all on you. So when I first started, I just ran off my Facebook page. Now I, as a coach, run a like page. I have Instagram. I do a YouTube channel. I do bun a bunch of stuff. And those things are mostly to help support my coaches and reach out to people I don't know. Um, but when I first started, for the first 12 months, all I did was everything on my personal Facebook page. And I just recently, in the last two and a half months, started doing it elsewhere. So I guess Instagram, I was doing a bit before too. Um, so yeah, becoming a coach is really simple. All you got to do is um, sign up through a link that is sent to you. And then once you sign up, you'll get a welcome email. You'll get some basic information. You'll get added to our coaches groups. And then from there, you'll get added into coach training if you want to be in it. And then we'll just... Uh, kind of define where your path is from there and help you along and your path and your goals can change multiple times depending on where you're at and what you're wanting um, another good thing just to know is say you sign up as a coach and you're, you think okay I sign up I give it my all but I find it's just not what I'm looking for this isn't the path for my life that's okay there's never any pressure to stay coaching there's no obligations nothing like that my objective as a coach is to help people go after their own goals. So if your goal changes or your passions change, that's totally okay. I'm here to support you on whatever path you choose. Um, if you didn't want to become a coach anymore, that's okay. There is no obligations with the company either. So you would simply, um, you there's a form you fill out, you email it in, it cancels you as a coach, that is it. So it's really simple. There's no, it's basically one, two, three. Um, so yeah, do you have any questions? Um, I did, but I can't remember them. Uh oh, <laughs> that's okay. You can ask them after too. Um, I know it's a lot of information, and sometimes it can seem really overwhelming. But the coolest part is that you can go into it like I did, completely blind, and there's so many people there to help you. I mean, Lindsay Matway is. My coach is coach's coach, so she's way above me, and she was the top coach in 2013, and she's making over a million dollars right now, so at first, I was like, oh, like, she's making all these cool posts, like, I want to do what she's doing, and I wanted to ask her, but I thought, like, how is, like, she's never going to answer me, she doesn't know me, 
She has 40,000 coaches on her team. Like, she's too busy. And she responded that same day. Um, everyone's in it together. Everyone's supporting each other. I just did a 30-day uh, coach training um, as a diamond coach with um, Lindsay Matway as well and five other coaches. And they are all coaches that were running training for all of their coaches. So there was hundreds of people in this training. So it was really cool because you're never really alone. There's always things open to you and opportunities for you. So um, Stacy Jones, who is in our, one of the coaches that leads the challenge group with me, she actually is one of my coaches. So I ran the challenges by myself for uh, six months. Oh, no longer than that, eight months. And then Stacy had joined as a coach two months before that. And then she decided that she wanted to start running challenges. So we actually decided to pair up and do everything together. And we've become success partners. So we do everything together. Um, Amanda Arnett and Julie Hilt are in our challenge group as well. They're both coaches. And they actually have now joined up and they started running their own challenge group as well. So lots of coaches do find someone they can relate to and they join up and run things together once they're comfortable. All of my coaches, um, if they're just discount coaches, can stay in my challenge groups forever. If they're uh, hobby coaches, they can stay in my challenge group for, well, they can always stay in it and use my posts, but I encourage them after apprenticing with me and practicing making posts with me um, that they start their own challenge group by at least month three or four um but i make sure that they're prepared for that and we practice so i'll give apprenticeship coaches a chance to do daily posts in my challenge group uh once or twice in the month and just give you that opportunity to see how it feels and get a handle on it um business builders if someone's wanting to make this their full-time job i really encourage them to start their own challenge group after at least one month of coaching. So give yourself a month to be in a challenge, get your stuff together, have multiple one-on-one -on -one videos like this with me, figuring it all out, and then just diving in because people want to go with someone they can trust and someone that they can truly see is passionate about it and is going to be there for them. Um, so coaches that do things right off the bat often have more success because people see just their drive and passion. So um, there's always support for you. So it's not like tomorrow you sign up as a coach and you have to go and start your own challenge group. No, no, no. That would be overwhelming. There's lots of information. So we're here to support you and we do it at a stage that's, or at a rate that's good for you. So if you're really busy or things are happening or say September would be better for you to start a challenge group yourself, that's what we would work at. We would make a plan. We would get you so you're comfortable. We make sure you're ready for it. And then that's when you would start. So it's a partnership. It's something that we do together. I have a couple other coaches running their own challenge groups now. And I'm in it as well. So I can give them feedback on posts that didn't work or did work. And same thing for me. When I post, I, my coaches can give me feedback. Did they like the post? Did it work good? Did they think it was too much or too little information? Um, so we do a lot of partnership kind of stuff. So we do it as a team. So that's the best part about the company is you're never really alone. You might be building your own business, but you're working together. So that's how that works. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. So if I would like to, mm -hmm. the main reason right now that I would do it is for the Shakeology discount. Yep. So if I ended up, like if I signed up and I get my discount or whatever, and then I decide that I want to kind of build my own practice per se yeah and like join people or whatever and become yep. like the middle or whatever whatever that one middle one was called the hobby yeah yeah um can I just move into hobby like do I do it at my own pace or do I have to like fill out a form or no it's at your own pace so those different strands just us as coaches have created those to help explain to people the differences because often people will hear us say like you can become a discount coach and then they think they're just stuck in that um, but you everyone signs up the same way and once you're signed up as a coach you get to create your own path so you do what you want at your own rate okay and yeah. if I decide that it's not what I want then I can just fill out the form and send it through email to Whoever. Yeah, and I would give you, you would just let me know and I could just send that to you. Okay. Yeah. And um, if I decide to become a hobby coach, um, you said that I made commission off of 
my challenge packs that I sell and everything that I sell, right? Yeah, you make twenty five percent commission. Okay. Off so like t-shirts and everything. Pardon me. Off of like t-shirts and everything, Shakeology, all that kind of stuff. Everything, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So typically, if like say a twenty one day, um, twenty one day fix challenge pack, I make. I would let me think here. It's changed. I make. $45 off of that. So everybody I sell to, I make roughly that. But depends. Some of the challenge packs are more money. I think there's one that's 225 So, yeah, I'd make like 60 some on that one. Okay. Yeah. So then you're still my coach if I decide to become a coach, right? Yeah. Okay. And see if you decided, like, that you started, you gave it your all, and you still didn't want to be a coach, um, it wasn't for you, or something came up in your life and you didn't want to do it anymore, um, you're still welcome in my challenge groups, you're still welcome in everything. It's not like I would hang you high and dry. I My goal, whether I was getting paid to do this or if I was a coach or not, is literally the what... I did for myself, like what, how I feel now after losing 50 pounds, I want everyone to feel that. And so I don't care if someone stays as a coach. I mean, I want them to be a coach. I want them to be successful and have the same success as I have and be able to have their own dreams and goals. But whether you're a coach or not a coach, I want everyone to be supported. So whatever path you choose, I'm there to support you regardless. Okay. So... If I, I would like to sign up as a coach. Okay. So when I do this, do I get a discount on everything then? Or is it just Shakeology or? Everything. Okay. So even, um, so every so many months, the company also has sales on just the programs, like without the Shakeology. Um, and when they have those sales, you still get the 25% off of those sales. So you get like crazy deals then because like the one program I bought, um, it was on sale for like 45% off and then I still got my 25% off of that. So yeah, I got some like that month I bought like six programs because <laughs> was, it was crazy. <laughs> so yeah, you get all that all the time. Um, and the other thing about coaching too, um, within our team, we want to make sure everyone's really supported and motivated. So every month, any coach that uh, sells three challenge packs or, five, or three, for every three challenge packs, basically, um, your name goes into a draw. And then if you sell five challenge packs, your name goes into a draw again. Um, and for every coach you sign underneath you, you get your name put into a draw again. Um, and every month I give away a coach prize. So um, on my team, so even if, say, you had a coach under you and they were in our team group and they sold three challenge packs they also could win the prize for me so they don't have to just be my personally sponsored coaches anyone on our team can win for me okay. um also um same thing every time you sell three challenge packs or five challenge packs your names go your name goes into a draw and for every coach you sign your name goes into a draw um and in march uh march 16th Stacy and I are going on the Beachbody cruise. So there's like 5,000 people going on, or 5,000 coaches going on this cruise from Florida to Haiti, to, or Jamaica to Haiti, and then back to Florida. And uh, Stacy and I already paid for and booked two rooms. And we are going to make a draw in December and take one of our coaches with us. So that would be a free trip as well. So that's another thing that you could win. So yeah, we decided not to take our husbands and instead to take our team. <laughs> so um, that's another opportunity as well that you would have. And there's things like that all the time with the company as well. Um, my room for the cruise, um, once I signed up, I had to pay $300 and then I can own coach or cruise dollars, they call them. So for every challenge pack I sell, I get $5 in cruise dollars, and um, I've almost earned my entire trip free. So it's going to be free for me, free for Stacy, and free for our coaches that we take with us. Um, for the trip part of it, the only thing we'll have to do is pay for our own flights. Um, but we were looking flights, looks like they're going to be like $400, but after that, everything is free. 
so everything would be paid for. And Stacy and I are actually going to have earned more money than our um, trips are worth, so we actually will get um, extra cruise dollars when we're on the trip, so we'll be able to pay for any like excursions or any drinks or anything that while we're on the trip as well. So that's another cool thing with the company. And um, every month, the company, if you sell three challenge packs or more, you get a success club prize. So I've won like tons of t-shirts that say different programs on them or different things for Beachbody. I've won shorts, bobbleheads, game boards. Uh, what else have I gotten? Uh, exercise balls. Uh, agility ladder, a bunch of stuff. So every month, anybody that sells three challenge packs gets a success club prize as well. So there's lots of incentives like that too. That's cool. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. And it's super cool because like the uh, CEOs and the coaches, oh, just say my dog. Merce, come here. Come here. Sorry, there's a dog here. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah, there's like all these different things you can earn and do and um, all the different coaches. Um, that are like top coaches, they all start following you and they comment and they get, you get to know people. Like I'm going to summit in July. So summit is a beach body meeting once a year and it's in Nashville this year. And there's 25,000 coaches going. So people are like all messaging each other and like, it's like, yeah, so that's going to be really cool. So that's something that you would um, get to go to next year too, if you wanted to. So I have to pay for my own flights and my, own hotel when I'm there, but it's going to cost me $500 for six days. And when I'm there, I get to like work out with all the trainers and like go to all these different things with them. And there's like parties and concerts and things when we're there for us. And yeah, so that will be super cool. So there's all these different things that come up throughout the year as well um, that you can do as well. So it's really cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Like and a lot. Sorry, like, go ahead. It sounds like it's like a very rewarding Mm -hmm. thing to get into yeah and every four or three months sorry we have a super saturday as well and um, so we, a super saturday is something that beachbody does and coaches run it um so morgan rager runs the one for saskatchewan and then some of us coaches that have been coaching for a while help her organize and set up and stuff and um so we hold it in regina actually so um, what we do is we rent out a facility and there's usually a new program released um, around the time of the Super Saturdays. So we get to do a sneak peek of those workouts. So you get to try it out before other people. Um, you get to, that's when the company releases information. So anything that's going to be new or changes, they release it. So you get to hear it first in person. You get to meet coaches in your area. The one in Regina, a couple months ago, there was like 150 of us there. So that was really cool just to meet the people. And like people brought their kids, people brought their husbands, you got to meet their families. So it's just a really big family and a network. So it's really cool. Yeah. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah. So yeah, that's basically all the information for now. But you and I can chat um, either. Uh, I'll send you a welcome email and you'll have my phone number and all that. You might already still have it, but um, all that's there. You're welcome to phone, text me, whatever, um, email me, whatever, uh, Facebook me. And yeah, so if you want to, we can sign you up today, whatever you want, whatever works for you. And um, we're going to have coach training starting in a week. So we can get you in some information that can get you going and comfortable with things and introduce you to the other girls on the team. Um, I shouldn't say just girls. There's a couple guys too on our team, but, um, it's mostly females. Um, yeah. And then you can get to know everyone whenever you're ready. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah, no problem. I'm super excited. And I was actually going to tell you in the challenge group lately, like all your posts are so spot on. Like, I'm like, that's exactly what she could post on her Facebook. That's exactly what she could post. Like, that's exactly what you do every single day, what a coach does already. It's so funny. You could like literally copy and paste your po pictures onto any social media platform. And that's exactly what you need to be doing. Well, that's so, good. Yeah. That makes me happy. Cause then that no, then I know that like, I can maybe be successful in this if I already do it. Yeah, that, it's yeah. I was like watching. I'm like, wow. Like, you already are doing exactly the first steps of being a hobby coach. Like, you're already at that point, and that's so awesome because lots of people take like 
I mean, some I've had coaches where they go from like discount to business within a month. And then I have some people that don't even become a hobby coach for like six months. And the fact that you're doing it already and we're only finishing up week one of the challenge group, that's incredible. Yeah. That's so good for you. I just love it. And I love that you like incorporate your daughter. Thanks. <laughs> it's she so good. She to work out with me. She thinks it's pretty funny. Um, there's a coach. His name is Scotty Hobbs. His He does body beast because, well, he likes weightlifting. And um, his little boy, he's like three, um, he bought him foam weights because he kept trying to pick up like his dad's weight. So he didn't want him to get hurt. Right. Oh. So there's like videos of like Scotty doing the program and little Poppy is doing the workouts with his little foam weights. It is the cutest thing you'll ever see. Yeah. And then the one night Poppy got up during the night and Scotty heard him. So he got up and like tiptoed and he's videotaping just in case the kid was doing something funny. And here the kid was in front of the TV working out like, <laughs> so funny right so yeah it's super cute lots of coaches incorporate their family into it and lots of coaches like most coaches take their kids on all of the beach body like trips and everything so it's like kid filled so that's awesome too it's like a family thing so awesome yeah so, um a kind of personal question well two yeah. personal questions then Sure. Um, so if I end up making money, like if I become a hobby coach and end up making money, even just a little bit, yeah. how does that work with taxes then? Because obviously I'm a business owner. Right. So then, yeah. Yeah. That's a really good question. I, we always cover that in coach training and I'm going to explain it now because it's awesome. So you are a business owner and your business is in your home. So that's the, be that's even a better part. So Anything that you buy for your business is um, a write-off for taxes. So um, computer, ink, printer, pen, paper, um, all that stuff, obviously, because you need that for your business. Um, your internet, your um, part of your uh, power and your phone and your gas when you drive to the city because you're picking up supplies for your business. Um, any of your workout clothes is part of your business. You need your workout clothes to be able to do your business. So that's a write off. So anything that's related to fitness, health, or your business, like any of your cell phone bills, power bills, internet bills, phone bills, um, any of your yeah, receipts from clothing, any of your mileage to, to and from the city or any any time you're traveling to meet with someone that might want to be a coach. If you go for coffee with someone that's a challenger or someone that wants to know about the uh, programs, or if you meet for coffee or lunch for someone that wants to be a, a coach, those receipts keep them all. Those are all write-offs. So for me, I was like a little bit worried because I have a full-time job and I thought I was going to kind of uh, get dinged in income tax because you get paid the full amount that you make. So um, it's recommended that you save 30% for um, income tax at the end of the year. I actually still got $3,000 back in income tax because I had so much, <laughs> I had so many write-offs. Um, so that was kind of crazy because I was expecting to have to pay and I didn't have to. So I'll see what this year brings. Um, but most of the coaches, we do a lot closer to income tax time. Lots of the coaches start talking in the coach group to share um, what they all keep for receipts, but I basically keep everything. Like, um, anything I buy for coaches or any gifts I buy for challengers or anything like that. Um, if I ever do that, I keep all those receipts. So all those are write offs. Um, yeah. It's like for me, I bought a new desk, a chair, and I'm actually building like an office in the basement. All of our renos for that are all write offs. Cause I have to build a room for my business. So any rentals you do to your house for your business to make it so you can do things, that's a write-off. So keep all those receipts. So that's really cool too. Like um, that's helped me out a lot just like with general um, things that I buy, like just having that extra write-off and being able to um, know it's going towards my business. So yeah, I keep everything. And for income tax, um, yeah, I just, I've been keeping 30% just in case I have to pay for some reason. But I will be quitting my full-time job in August, so I'll have way less income for a little bit. So, um, yeah, I probably won't have to pay again this year, but um, I, I will have to eventually in the future. 
Right. Yeah. So pretty much if I save all, like I'm not working this year, obviously. Right. So I still receive an income from maternity leave, which is tax. Right. Right. And um, then if I end up becoming a hobby coach before I go back to work in February, yeah. then um, would I have to pay or, because obviously there's no taxes to right. of reach body, right? Right. So it depends on how much you earn. So Stacy Jones, she started being a coach and a hobby coach while she was on mat leave and she didn't have to pay anything. And I think she said she earned like 6000 during her mat leave. So, and she didn't have to pay anything and she still got her full mat leave. Okay. Um, and yeah, I earned 10000 and I didn't have to pay anything either. So that shouldn't affect you at all this year. Okay. Um, the coaches that I've seen that have had to pay have made like over $20,000 and they've had like full-time jobs too. So I just still like keep it aside just in case. And then if not, I have that extra money saved, right? For something that might come up. Um, but yeah, it shouldn't affect you at all for a, a while unless all of a sudden you like grow a huge team and you're making like $50,000 in the next like six months. So, <laughs> but I mean, that could happen too. Coaches do that all the time. So um, yeah, I usually like at the beginning, cause we can just touch base month to month too. Like if you all of a sudden say like earn way more than you're expecting, we can talk then like how to adjust to make sure you're okay at income tax time. But for the first while sh you should be fine. Okay. So. Another question. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. All <laughs> um. oh also, um, whenever you buy Shakeology or your programs, keep those receipts as well because those are write offs too. Okay, so this wasn't the question. So if I become like when I sign up to be a body beach body coach or whatever, can I use this program that I just bought or no? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you have. You'll have two options when you sign up. You can either sign up with a, a new challenge pack. So say if you did want a new program, right now buying a challenge pack and Shakeology together is your cheapest bet right now. So if you wanted a new new program, just to have two on hand, um, to be able to switch back and forth or to just see what other programs are like, you could sign up that way. Or you can pick the sign up um, method. So it's a $40 fee, but because you've already had a challenge pack, um, it will take it off your credit card, but then it will reimburse you. Okay. Yeah. So because you already a challenge pack, it will just reimburse you. Um, so yeah, so you have two options. You can either do it completely free and keep using 21 day fix, or you can buy another one if you want another one on hand and people do it differently all the time. It's your personal choice, whatever you want. So if, when is a good time to change my program then? Like if I really like this one, can I stick with it? Yeah. Lots of people, like lots of coaches only do 21 day fix because they love it. Some will buy different ones just to have the experience and see if they like them. Um, and then they'll do it like off and on when they just want to break from 21 day fix. But lots of coaches have their favorite program and just stick to it. Like I own now like eight or nine of them but I love weightlifting. So right now I've just been doing mostly weightlifting. And then whenever I need some extra cardio, I do my other programs and I just kind of like switch them around and do as I please. But I have continued with the 21 day fix meal plan because I full heartedly believe in that meal plan. It's by far the most balanced meal plan I've ever seen um, health wise. So I continue with that one. Um, but the cool thing is when I started in order to try new programs, you have to buy them. Um, but now once you're a coach, you'll have a club membership. So you will actually have access to Beachbody on demand online, which there's $3,000 worth of programs on there. So you can actually do them on your computer and check out like hundreds of them. Oh, awesome. So you don't actually have to buy all of them anymore at all. You could never buy another one if you didn't want to, you could just do them online always. If you didn't want to do them on your, like if you just wanted to do them off your computer or your iPad, you could just do it that way as well. Yeah. And they just, that just came available in, uh, February. So that's something that's new. Okay. Now, um, with when I sign up to be, uh, like when I sign up today, 
Um, I pay sixteen dollars a month for coach fees. Right. Uh, but if I start selling things, is that automatically waived then? No. So that's a continued fee. Um, so th what those fees are for, um, I'm not sure if you are familiar with like Avon, Mary Kay, or Tupperware or any of those things, but those companies make you do all of the accountant part stuff yourself. So like people would have to give you money. You would have to do slips and give them receipts and all that stuff. Beachbody, they do everything for you. Like you'll have an online office that you'll log into. All of your accounting stuff is there. Um, you have live chat with coach relations so if something is wrong or if you need advice on something you can actually just go on a chat so they have all the stuff set up for you you do not you do nothing other than give people a link and then run challenge groups if you're a business builder or a hobby coach so you don't have to do any receipts you don't have to deal with returns or shipments you don't have to do any of that so they just do a flat out fee every month and they cover all of that for you instead okay. that becomes a lot of work yeah. Yeah. So that's just every month. So yeah, like what I do when I first started, my goal was three challenge packs a month. So I, first of all, I could get, um, recognition by getting a monthly prize. I also then got my name on the success club board, um, that's posted weekly. And I also, um, it covered my Shakeology, my coach fee, and I still made it like a hundred dollars extra. So that was my goal with when I first started with three challenge packs. Um, then slowly, like, so you'll go underneath me on my coach. Um, just want Merce. Mercy. She's chasing a vehicle. <laughs> okay. I'll just let her chase. Um, so yeah. So um, when you sign underneath me, when I add coaches, they're going to go underneath you. So even though they're not personally your coaches, once you have two coaches underneath them or underneath you, sorry. And then my coaches as well, you're going to start getting team bonuses even from my coaches. So, um, you'll start, yeah, their points from them selling stuff will go on to you as well. So some months you could have, like if you have two coaches underneath you or two friends sign up, um, then you, can start getting these team bonuses and that's where you'll end up making those extra hundred dollars. So you'll never have to sell more than three challenge packs a month if you didn't want to. And you could just keep getting more money by having people underneath you. And cause I'll just keep adding people underneath you and then that will help you as well. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Now with this challenge pack or challenge group that we signed up for, yeah. um, I, We'll continue to post. Yeah. But um, should I be, like, is it part of the um, challenge group to, like, put all of your meals on there or, like, all of your workouts or, like, I don't want to become annoying. Okay. So <laughs> that's a really good question. And maybe I should actually make a video about this for the challenge group. So um, in my experience, the people that do post every single day and are like annoyingly posting a lot, <laughs> they have the most success. And the reason is, is because you post and someone comments back, right? So you get pumped up because someone wants to know, or like, oh, your meal looks really good. And you feel good because you're now eating this really good looking meal, right? So you work out and someone sees that you work out. So now they're going to go do their workout. And chances are, they're going to start telling you that like good job um, that you're making them pumped up or they're going to start having that interaction with you. So you're going to want to work out the next day because it feels good, right? To have people commenting and sharing and being a part of it with you. So people that post always, always, always have the most success because they stay accountable. They eat better. Um, they just have a better experience and they make more friends in it. Um, and it's just a better experience. So, annoyingly posting you can't do that that's not possible you could post a hundred times a day and I'm gonna tell you right now I probably will work out twice because you're posting so many times that I'm gonna feel empowered and motivated because you're posting um, challenge groups where we don't have people that really will post I feel less like empowered to work out because I'm the only one posting or I'm the only one sharing um, but when we have a group like right now where everyone's doing it um, 
it makes other people work out. And some people are silent challengers. I've had challengers lose 20 pounds in 21 days and they've never posted once. I thought they weren't even doing it because they weren't even answering my messages. And they'll message me at the end and be like, I lost 20 pounds. Like the people that were posting made me like stay accountable. I couldn't have done this without them. So that's why I always tell people like when you're posting, you have no idea you are already coaching and inspiring people. Like, um, if you didn't post every day, I bet two other people wouldn't post every day that have been posting every day. It's kind of like a dominoes effect, right? So, um, you can never post too much. Cause I noticed quite a few people don't post. Yes. So those are in some cases, there's some people that are starting a week behind. So they just aren't posting it cause they're not doing it. Um, there's some people that are just shy. Um, and that's, happens I have a lot of challengers their first month they're shy and they don't post the second month they're in my challenge group they post every single day like five times a day so it's a that, that comfortable factor right so everyone's different some people make videos some people share things some people like share themselves like dancing and like working out after the workout like it's whatever you want. That's why I always say at the beginning, it is your safe zone. It is your place to make your own. Post as much as you want. Share as much as you want because your meal could help someone else have a good meal. Your workout could have, help someone else work out. Um, so post, post, post. I always encourage that. And this group right now, like 80% of the group is all brand new first time, first month. So that's why there is going to be a large portion of people that don't post. So um, out of the 15 people, or 15 new people that I have in there right now, um, six of them aren't starting till Monday. So they just haven't been posting because they haven't started. Um, so yeah, your, you posting is wonderful. <laughs> Cause I was worried I was getting annoying. No, no, <laughs> definitely not. I always think that some days when I've posted like 15 times onto Facebook, I'm like, wow, I wonder if people like are annoyed with me yet. But <laughs> my coach made a point one day. She's like, okay, there'll be some people like um, moms on mat leave or people that like have jobs that let them look at their phone that maybe see like all your posts, but they're like, most people maybe look at their Facebook like during like coffee breaks, lunchtime, and then the evening. So she's like, most cases, like half of your Facebook has only seen one of your posts and you posted 15 times. So she's like, you're not annoying everyone. You might just be annoying like one or two people. <laughs> So, and, oh, another thing, um, don't worry about, like, some people when they first start, they're like, I don't know anyone that will do this with me, or I don't have many people on Facebook, like, who will I even sell to? Do not worry about that. Out of everybody that joined me in the beginning, I, just now, in the last, like, month, and this is my 14th month, my one best friend has finally done a program. My close friends never did at the beginning. Um, it was all like other people that were relating to me and like random people, my mom and dad's friends or like friends of friends that saw my posts and they joined. So I didn't even know them. And most people that I've like had joined me, I don't even know. They've just like seen my posts or someone has seen like a friend saw my post and was talking about it. And then that person ended up messaging me. So don't ever worry about that. When I first started, I had like 150 friends on Facebook. I now have 1,900 friends. Oh, wow. Yeah. So like when I first started, I didn't have a huge network. And most of those people were like when I first started were close friends and family. And yeah, I didn't have a huge network. So don't ever worry about that. I always tell people don't worry about that. That kind of thing will grow as you decide to grow your business. Because I don't have a very large network of friends that – do fitness <laughs> yeah no I uh, out of all my girlfriends before starting this only one worked out so <laughs> it, I didn't go to the gym so I mean don't worry about that ever um, it's more about people joining you because they want to feel good they want to feel like you or they see you having success and they want to be a part of that so people don't generally join because they love fitness it's all for every other reason and there's coaches um, You'll eventually probably see her name, but her name is Paige. Uh, she's a diamond coach. And when she first started, she didn't have Facebook. 
Um, she was in a challenge group, but she didn't have Facebook, so she obviously wasn't following it, but her friend was a coach, so they just, like, texted every day, and she did an entire challenge through text and didn't see anything anyone else was posting, and then she became a coach, and I think she was, like, three months into coaching before she got Facebook, and now she's making, like, $2,500 a month. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so, like, she didn't have any followers. She had zero, <laughs> so... It can be anything. It's more about sharing your journey and sharing what you're doing and just sharing your life. Like, heck, I'm right away I'm going to share my pathetic picture of my garden. And I try to grow a garden because I want to make my own or grow my own healthy food, but nothing is growing. And everyone else's gardens seem to be growing. So I'm going to talk about that and people relate to that, right? So it's all part of the journey. Everything in your life is part of the journey. And that's why people join you, not because they love fitness. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited too. And it's kind of funny because I always, I've like, out of all my coaches on my team, um, most of them I don't, like I've never met in person. That, that seems kind of weird. But I like Stacy and I run everything together. We do literally everything together. And we do videos like this. And she's my cousin's wife. And I've never met her. <laughs> like, we've never met in person. But we're going – we're staying in a hotel together in Nashville, and we're going on this cruise together. So, like, it's just – it's crazy, right? Like, you just – it's – social media is very, very, I don't know, unique and crazy, and it allows for so many friendships. So I'm so happy you've come into my life. And I can't wait to meet you. And do you live in Regina? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, that's good. I finish class. Like right now I'm taking classes in the evening. So I finish that up in, um, on June 16th. So then I'll have evenings. So if you ever want coffee or go and do something, I'm always available in the evenings, Monday to Thursday. So I'm around. So yeah, and that way too, if you have questions or you want to learn about things, um, I can show you in person too. Um, yeah. And there's always like things going on. Like, um, the coaches in Regina have been talking about going out for supper and like, doing things lately or going to movies so yeah you can always join those things too oh, Candy Shuchuk is the coach right yeah is she under you yeah she's my cousin oh is she that's too funny yeah, yeah she is a coach underneath me um I guess I know her I've met her in person she like I'm from Foam Lake so um our I was her sister's or Stacy's age so yeah, I know Candy more through Stacy, but through parties, I guess. So, yeah. Yeah. That's, kind cool. of, yeah. that's awesome. I'm excited. So, you are going to send me the email. I probably won't actually physically sign up until Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Um, I'll probably just Facebook you. Facebook you the link and the information how to sign up, and then if I know when you're like the sign up process takes like maybe two minutes like there's three four things you fill out so it's not very long um so I'll send you the link and then you can do it whenever it works for you but just let me know when you're doing it and then um I just have to send in a thing so that way you get your reimbursement for your $40 for the sign up fee if that's the way you go and then um as soon as you do that I will do your welcome introduction to the groups and then you'll have all the information and I'll send you a welcome email at that point too Okay. Yeah. It'll be probably Tuesday morning. Sure. Let me do it. So sure. I'll Sounds just good. message you whenever it's done. Awesome. I'm You're super right. excited. Me too. Yay. Thanks. All right. Well, thanks for joining me. No problem. All right. Well, I'm going to go make supper now. Okay. All right. Thank <laughs> okay. you. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.